We are joined here today by the four astronauts from Crew 4, NASA astronauts Chell Lindgren, Bob Hines, and Jessica Watkins, as well as European Space Agency astronaut Samantha Cristoforetti. Yeah, this is certainly um, an important milestone, I think, uh, both for our agency and, and for the country. Um, and you know, I think it really is just a tribute to the uh, legacy of the black women astronauts that have come before me, as well as to the exciting future ahead. Um, and so I'm just uh, honored to be a small part of that legacy moving forward. Um, you know, for me, um, growing up, it was important to me to have um, role models in roles that I aspire to be in, contributing in ways I aspire to contribute. Uh, so to the extent that I'm able to do that, uh, I am I'm honored and uh, grateful for the opportunity to return the favor. Walking around, you see a dragonfly. It's reminder. something that just uh, warms your heart a little bit. Okay. All right. Yes, I certainly would encourage any young girls, um, young you know, children of color, young children in general, um, to, to find something that you love and just pursue that relentlessly. Um, if for, for this job in particular, um, we're looking at the STEM fields, so science, technology, engineering, mathematics, uh, but anything within that realm, you know, that, that's actually a, a pretty broad category. Please um, state who your question is for. Um, so let's go ahead and take the first question from Robert Perlman with Collect Space. Um, well, that um, condition that you mentioned about me being the um, uh, only woman in the European Astronaut Corps is bound to end very soon. And uh, we are in the process of selecting a new class of astronauts. We had a huge response uh, across all uh, ESA member states. I think we got well over 20,000 solid valid applications. Uh, we are well into that process of selection now. I think we got a great response also from young uh, female professionals across the, the continent uh, compared to my selection back in 2009 where female applicants were only about 15, 16%. I think we're uh, about 25% now. Uh, and so uh, we definitely expect to, to have some, uh, some great female colleagues uh, by, the, by the end of the year, and I'm very much looking forward to that. Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> Thank you for your question. 